I just want to bring up one thing. As I was recording the narration, I realized that once the presentation was done, it asked me what I wanted to say, but Time Travel by the Angels in Schofield and Rika Robbins. Now what you can do is go over here where you see it and then drag it so that it's where you, if you, I'm not sure where it is. Time Travel by Angels in Schofield and Rika Robbins. So that's nine seconds. And then you can ex and then you just drag it on till it's nine seconds. And then from the beginning it should last. Time travel. By the Angels in Schofield and Rika Robbins. And then you just keep on extending it. So, I'll go ahead and pause it. And then we'll come back. And once I'm done with the narration, we'll continue on. Welcome back. I still am not done with narration quite yet. Well, I, I finished narration up to the point where the video was about to come in in the PowerPoint presentation. So we're going to switch to the storyboard back for a second. As you can see, right there are two slides. Each three seconds, or in your case, five seconds. Within the within the video. So, what we are going to do now is we are going to import the original video. Click on videos. And select the one that you want. Then you click import. And then right there it is. I'll play a little bit. Of all the unexplained mysteries in our universe. Okay. Now that you remember that clip. I want to do is drag and drop it in between the two videos. Make sure the line is in between the two videos. And if you want to add a transition, you can. I thought this would probably be the best time that you can set a transition. So add a transition. What I'll probably do is the circle one. That will probably be the most zoom in like kind. And I'll also add a circle one back here. Now I'll show you what it looks like. The transition. all the unexplained mysteries in our universe. Perhaps the most tantalizing and controversial is whether it's possible to travel through time. And then, we'll skip across into towards the end. And develop the basic equations. Okay, and right there, is where we are. I'm getting very close to finishing up the narration. So, I'm going to pause the recording and finish up the narration. And, when, and just to go back to the timeline, I'll remind you before I pause it. 
click that and then click the timeline. And then scroll down over there. Okay, now I'm going to pause the recording. And when I come back, the nature should be finished. I'll come back. I still am not done with the narration. You can't tell it because since we are very close to the end, it stopped very quickly. And so what I'm going to show you now is how to uh, drag it because I recommend is once you get close to the end, so it's going to stop when you reach the end of the video. Extend it long because you can always shorten it up. Extend that long and, sh and then extend that long. And extend that long. And now go back over here. Then you should have a longer narration time. If you want to do that the beginning, you can go ahead. Okay, I'm going to pause the recording. When I come back to the narration, finally, this time I should be true. Finally, be added. Welcome back. I finished narrating the timeline. But let's change it back to the storyboard for a second. Now, see, so it's 26 minutes long. Time trap by the Angels in Seattle. As you can see, Enrique okay, Robin. This is what I have. What is the nature of time? Now, one thing you might want to do is add something so that it doesn't just pop up like that and then if we scroll down to the last slide in closing and if I scroll down a little bit more to the end do <laughs> thank you and this concludes our video about time trap thank you and have a good day it just doesn't suddenly pop off like that. So what we want to do is let's f have it fade in from black and fade out from black. And now to do this, we click on effects. And then we go fade in from black and drag it onto that star on the first one. And this is what it will look like when you play it. Time Travel by the Angels in Skullfield, Enrique Robin. And now, you scroll all the way down to the end, to the last slide, and then select Fade Out to Black. In closing, all Let's the scroll time down towards, more towards the end. And see, it just faded out normally. What I recommend is that you periodically save your work. So, uh, I'll save the project, and if you haven't saved the project yet, this will come up, and then type in a name, I'll call this Time Travel Example PowerPoint Project, you can call whatever you want, this is just to identify the file, you click save, and by the way, You've got to have the video present. So the project file will fit on a floppy disk, for example. You have to carry the files with you in the exact same location. You see, it has, it tells exactly where the file is located. To the different location, even. It won't work. Now let it save, because the reason I want you to save, especially after you're done, is because 
when you are finished. That's it. Um, it, and then click this computer to publish it. Sometimes it might freeze. When this movie might freeze, and then it will. And then the only one we can do is use task manager to force it to close. Even though it's a to auto save every 10 minutes, I recommend that you save it afterwards because you could lose the last touches. So click this computer. <laughs> 